Well, let me tell you, Eric, I talked with several passengers here at SeaTac. They're pretty glad, as you can imagine, they're not going to be traveling around Seattle tomorrow and on Saturday. So the delays are going to depend on whether you fly or drive, but no matter what, there will be disruptions. Seattle Tacoma International Airport is getting ready for a presidential visit as Joe Biden is coming to town. A lot goes into these high security events, which always have the potential to cause significant issues for travelers. You're getting out of town ahead of the president. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> Steve Alsaker is flying back to Minnesota. He's dealt with the traffic before. Every time presidents come into the Minneapolis St. Paul area, it's been just chaotic, shutting down freeways and I, I, I couldn't imagine the airport. You'll see. <laughs> a spokesperson with Alaska Airlines says security protocol for Air Force One arriving means that air traffic at SeaTac is stopped at least 30 minutes before the plane lands. They said all airlines could experience potential delays during this time. Airport officials say if all goes as scheduled, impact should be minimal for the time window, but they still recommend you check with your airline. Of course, that's if President Biden's travel plans don't change. Matt Schoenwald lives in Seattle, and he remembers when Biden last visited two years ago, after the president also landed at SeaTac. His advice to those heading out is simple. Leave early and just avoid any of those routes. While airport officials are taking a more optimistic tone, Seattle Department of Transportation officials say to expect significant travel delays and detours in the greater Seattle area. And so the president is scheduled to leave on Saturday. You can expect and assume a similar security protocol. So Saturday travelers, this is your warning, plan ahead accordingly. At SeaTac, Paul Rivera, Como News. It's not just air traffic that will be impacted this weekend. Mother's Day weekend will be tough for drivers as well. Washdot crews are taking advantage of the dry weather and bringing several major road projects to Everett, Seattle, on the east side. Como's Tyra Major shows us. I-5 in Everett need some serious grooming. WashDOT kicking off the Marine View Drive project between Everett and Marysville. They'll reduce the northbound side of the freeway to one lane to add a new HOV lane. With the HOV lane extending from downtown Everett up to 529, that's going to help smooth that traffic flow through there a little bit. And then also with the off-ramp from I-5 to 529, it's going to provide a second way for people to get into the city of Marysville. Then there's the SR 529 project, which has reduced the northbound side of the Snohomish River Bridge to a single lane, 24 hours a day till May 28th. The SR 529 bridge is 97 years old, and we need to do some routine maintenance on it. We need to go in, check and replace some of the steel. We need to work on some of the mechanical pieces to make the bridge raise and lower. And also the bridge needs to be painted. And that's not all. If you travel between Seattle and the east side, get ready for two closures over Lake Washington. SR 520 closing from Seattle to 92nd Avenue in the Clyde Hill area on the east side. Starting on Friday night until early Monday morning, the trail will be closed too for those who like those outdoor recreational activities. Eastbound I-90 also closing, but just on Friday night until Saturday morning. This is so that crews can uh, do some maintenance in the Mount Baker tunnel that closure happening from Seattle all the way to the Mercer lid I'm still not done revive I-5 also returns to South Seattle Saturday night lane reductions are planned for northbound I-5 near Boeing field to install roadway sensors if people choose to use northbound I-5 as they normally do we're gonna have a lot of traffic out there trying to squeeze into two lanes that's gonna create bigger backups don't forget, President Biden scheduled to campaign in Seattle on Friday and Saturday. Anytime a president is in town, it can create surprise road closures and delays. As always, allow extra travel time. Tyra Majors, Como News. All weekend road work will begin 10 p.m. Friday night, and all roads should reopen early Monday morning.